A young men wrote in to our counselors at the Marriage Foundation and basically said, my wife wants nothing to do with me. Well, I'm not a counselor at the Marriage Foundation. I founded the Marriage Foundation on Paul Friedman. And I thought this topic was something that should be addressed publicly because a lot of people are experiencing this. Now, in some cases, you always have to consider uh, sort of the the drama aspect when someone asks a question like that, when they say, okay, my wife wants nothing to do with me, what should I do? Some people who write in like that, some guys, their wife left them. There's a restraining order. They can't even talk to them if they want to. Well, there's nothing we can do for you except to tell you, and I'm just going to be very candid, once a wife leaves you, we don't know, I don't know anyone who's able to successfully alter the dynamics of that relationship. And my suggestion is always to men who are facing that harsh reality is to remember that there's more future in front of you than past. And you have the capacity and capability to learn how to make that future much better. You don't have to be a victim of a change in the reality of your life. And I know that may sound harsh, it may sound cold, but it's the truth. You have free will. The future is wide open for you. However, the part of you that has created things until now that has not been good needs to be changed by you. Most of us live, work, die. We don't do anything to change ourselves, and that doesn't work out very well. So see this as a wake-up call for you as an individual. Now, if that is not your situation, and I hope it's not, then what's happening is that somehow, and I'm going to put this on you, and please don't go, oh man, you just like to blame the men. Because the women say you just like to blame the women, but you're the one coming for help. So I want to help you in a way that works for you and your wife and your family. You didn't get married to have disharmony. You got married to have happiness and harmony and love. And clearly, you have not been infusing into your marriage in any conscious way those things that make your marriage space, I call it the sacred space, happier. What have you been doing consciously to make your marriage happier? And what have you been doing to create more love? And please don't give me it takes two to tango stuff. That's nonsense. Love is marriage is. Marriage is a container. There's just two of you who have access to what you put into it. And if you're pouring love, respect, kindness, all the positives into this container, she will respond. Get it? You have not been doing that. You've been putting toxic stuff into the container and she's responding. We all including myself the first time I got married. I didn't know what I was doing at all. No one knows. They don't teach us this stuff. There's probably 12 people on the whole planet who know how to be married. You can have a system. You can get married with a goal, and you should. Your goal should be for love and happiness. And then you should have a plan. Here's what I'm going to do to create happiness. Here's what I'm going to do to express love. And here's what I'm not going to do. Because all it will do is undermine the two things that I desire in my marriage. And it's those toxic things that have to go away. So while you're at it, you might as well start adding the things that create love and harmony and happiness. You could do it on your own. Learn and apply. That's my motto. Watch these videos. Subscribe and learn a lot.
You could read one of my books. And if things are really bad and sliding to a divorce, you should get the course for men. And it might be if, if we're already there where she's totally avoiding you. There's a reason for it. Well, you need to change those reasons into reasons for her to want to be with you. Hopefully this has been helpful. Leave a comment if you'd like, if you're not sure about something that I said. Like the video, but definitely subscribe. Learn and apply clearly by your problem. You don't know enough about marriage to pull it off. You should be enjoying your marriage like nothing else in life. That's my goal for you, and I want to teach you how to do it. So thanks for spending time with me. Blessings to you. Blessings to your wife and your family. And don't be afraid to write in to the counselors. It's a free service at the Marriage Foundation. Take care and God bless.